Hey, yo, Comic Stat, you got two W's this week. You got Nova Living, and you got Black Bolt showing up in Marvel Comics. Hello? But hey, this story was fucking great. It was like a cherry on top for like a wonderful, peaceful story. This is Marvel's Unleashed issue four. Guys, I've been putting a lot of people on this book. I love this first issue of it. I absolutely love the animals in Marvel, especially Lockjaw and Throg. Not a lot of characters talk about this or people talk about this book, and I absolutely love it. We start off like the Gates of Hell or whatever, right? Where uh, Blackheart has his army and he's trying to use Lockjaw's powers to teleport to Earth to pretty much control all of Earth. All of the animals are locked up, right? But you see Throg use all his might going, Ugh! have at the Blackheart, and he starts fighting him like just straight up fist. We see Myron needs to wake up Lockjaw, right? To get him out of there. And basically D-Dog, the main protagonist, and Bax go down to the stairs to go fight the demons off so they can wake up Lockjaw and get the hell out of there. D-Dog just runs down there, bravery as hell with bats, and start fighting these demons. I was like, what the fuck is this dog on? Hell, guys, why hasn't Thor done this yet really recently? Like, Throg is just beating the shit out of Blackheart. Straight up fist, no hammer, straight the fuck up. Redwing has to go help, and uh, Chewie as well. Chewie has to come down the stairs and use her powers, right, to fucking start killing all these demons. Fucking Blackheart picks up Throg and slams him on the ground. He's like, you tried, you little frog. He's literally about to kill Throg right here. He's foot on his chest. And then out of the blue, you hear, Zzz, then fucking Milmer noise, right? And Blackheart turns around and he's like, what do I hear? He's like, thunder. And you see a fucking um, uh, Throg's hammer just come out of the blue. <laughs> like that. And then he start going one-on-one -on -one again with Throg with the fucking hammer while everyone else is fighting the demons off. Chewie uses his powers or her powers or whatever to blow up all these fucking demons, whatever, and starts eating them. And everyone's like, what the hell? Throg fucking slams Blackheart's face going, kaboom. Blackheart puts Throg on the wall and he says, you tried again, little Throg. It's like, what are you waiting for? That's when we see Lockjaw come out of the blue with fucking fierce bite fucking Blackheart's mouth and teleport him through out of there. In all this dialogue, we pretty much get to know that how underrated Lockjaw is. How he can go through space and time and shit instantly. He has immense strength. Remember initial one where Craven did? It took like, like four fucking uh, darts of like elephants to just to take him down. Like how much stuff there was in those darts. But basically, uh, Myron is like, I'm thank God Lockjaw is on our side. That's when Lockjaw teleports Blackheart into uh, Black Bolt with all the Inhumans. And Black Bolt says, are you talking shit to my dog? And Blackheart's like, no, no. Lockjaw teleports Blackheart while all the smoke on his ass fucking in a uh, prison dimension. He's basically stuck there forever. But we find out that D-Dog died in battle. And this shit made me tear up low key, man. Like seriously, like, that was so sad because D-Dog was one of my favorite main protagonists in recent times. But she wakes up on the Rainbow Bridge, right? Going to Valhalla. And then all the animals get there, right? With Lockjaw, Throg. And Throg knows how to get there, right? Because it's Valhalla. Basically, D-Dog went to Valhalla and now he gets to stay there forever. So now we know D-Dog's in Valhalla forever now. Now the rest of the team, they pretty much have like their own Avengers team, basically. And this is fucking dope. Guys, read this shit. The ending was very sad. I, I wish D-Dog didn't die, but hey, it is what it is. Hopefully we get to see more D-Dog and more Throg and all these characters. I absolutely love this comic.